All right. What we have here is a, a Chevy Equinox um, vehicle here that was brought to us from a different shop. I see it don't even have the pin number thing on here. It's supposed to be a um, 2008. Let's see, I have it in the scanner here. Yes, it's a 2008 Chevy Equinox. It's all wheel drive. Now the problem that's coming on is um, service traction control. Um, the car has a little misfire in it. And the RPM is not reading. It was brought here because another shop say that there was a problem with the transmission and the customer wanted the transmission put in. Now what happens is when this service st stability track come on the trans and traction control and it start misfiring a bit running kind of rough the transmission also stops sh shifting and the codes that came up were in the engine code it had a P where is it P0335 crankshaft position sensor circuit uh-huh it's current and it failed as a P0325 knock sensor circuit bank one And in the transmission model, it has a, a P0727 engine speed, no signal. It says it's current. So these are the things I want to pay attention to uh, right now. Crankshaft. I want to deal with the crankshaft position sensor. Here, so it had a, let's go back over here. It has a P0335, P0325, that's the knock sensor. And the P0335. 36 and in the transmission it also says uh, engine speed no signal again we don't see the, the RPM gauge moving either so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna go to the the live data on this Now if you look here on the engine speed, you see there's no reading, it's zero. Okay, so the scanner doesn't see it. The speedometer is not, not speedometer, the uh, RPM is not showing it. Even though it's running, you raise the, raise the motor. Now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna turn this off. Now this only happens when it's hot, when it gets hot. So he had to drive it about hmm, maybe five six miles.
before it started acting up. See, it doesn't even want to crank quickly. Now you saw the RPM gauge went over. Still not reading. But it did go over. All right, I'm gonna let it sit just for a few seconds and see if it reads after I crank it up again. Still not reading. All right, I'm gonna let it sit for a while. And then we'll come back and start it up. And then we're gonna look at the engine speed on the scanner too and see if it has a reading. Okay, we are back. And the check engine light is on. But the vehicle started up and the RPM is working. Now, we go down to the scanner. You can see that the RPMs are working. Again, when it starts to get hot, it just stops. Of course, also, the engine is not running. Uh, like it's misfiring either so what's going to happen this is either going to be a crankshaft position sensor issue or it's going to be a wiring issue or the computer is going to be malfunctioning so what I'm going to do I am going to just change the sensor. If it's not that expensive, I'm going to change it. It's easy to get to, but it may not be easy to take out of the block because it's inside the block. And a lot of times, that plastic swells in that motor. Wish they would use something else, but... See? It's working now. When it stops working, it starts to um, start to misfire. When they go to zero, it's like it runs rough. This has a hundred and seventy thousand four four seven miles on it. So, when that speedometer goes to zero, the engine starts to run rough and the transmission stops shifting. Inside the transmission control module is a, a RPM miss code, missing the RPM code from the engine. So, it's, there's nothing else in there. So. All right, let me change this. It's not doing anything at the moment. Let me change that so I can see if it's going to stop. 